Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Sunday. I love this today. We've got this gorgeous lone horse and this is reminding you of your power. You know, you are strong enough to be on your own. And that means during those times of separation, during the times where, you know, you are single on this journey, which means your masculine isn't there. You've decided to move on from being in a relationship. You're just in your own energy. That is power. Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know how many people would love to have that strength to be yourself, to be authentic? Your masculine is one of them. So enjoy this time today to be you, to be alive, and to know that you may seem single to others, to family, to friends, but you know your truth. You are a sacred being in a spiritual sacred union with your twin flame. And that matters more than anything that anyone says. So trust that love. You are one, you are connected, you are forever. And the angels want you to know that. So even though other people may see you as single and they're giving me this energy where, you know, people may look at you and think, what's wrong? You know, why aren't you with anybody right now? What's wrong with you? That used to happen to me constantly. When I was single, you know, before union, people would say, why? You know, why aren't you dating? What's wrong? Why don't you want any kids, Liz? Why this? Why that? And that's their perception of my journey. And that was none of my business. And whatever people are thinking about you today, it's none of, it's none of your business. It's not really any of their business. But it doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you think and what you know. And I feel that this is a day where you could be out and about. And it's a Sunday. So sometimes on a Sunday we can spend time by ourselves getting ready for the new week ahead, sorting out work schedules, having a relaxing day, doing things by ourselves, meditating, you know, having a relaxing day. Maybe we're going for a walk or we're going to the park or we're doing something for ourselves. But also Sunday can be a family day. So it can be a day where we go and visit relatives and we go for a Sunday dinner, a Sunday lunch, or we can be with the kids or we can be spending time with a karmic partner. And this goes for the divine masculine too. And it feels like there may be judgment around today. Judgment around the divine feminine. You know, the people in our lives questioning why we're doing the things we do. Or saying the things we say. Or living the life we're living. And that can be connected not just with your love life, but with your personal life, your career. The things that you do. They may not understand why you're leaving that great job what they may see as a great job to follow your service or to do something spiritual. They may not get that. They may not understand why you do cards or why you do healings or why you work with crystals. And remember, that's none of, it's none of your business really what they think of you if they don't get it. You can try and explain yourself, but sometimes it's like banging your head against a wall until someone is ready to understand. They, they won't understand. So this is a message that's saying to you today, you don't have to defend yourself for who you are and for what you do, for who you love. You know your truth and that's what matters. And sometimes on this journey as a twin flame, it works more in our favour to keep those things close to our chest until we're ready to reveal them. Some people are just naturally interested in what you're doing. They want to know about the cards, the, the crystals, the things you enjoy, the things you're passionate about, because they're fascinated and they're interested. Other people just want to give you their opinion or their perception of what's going on. And you'll know the difference. You'll know the difference by the way you feel, whether that person is genuinely interested in you and what you're doing in your life and wanting to get to know more about you, or they're just operating in a place of fear where they just don't understand Remember, sometimes we fear what we don't understand. And that works with people in our lives. And it works with our twin too. You know, when the masculines run and they say it's all lies or, you know, it's all hogwash, it's because they're afraid. They're afraid of what they feel. They're afraid of learning new things. They're afraid. And that's how they are when they first wake up, when they first run. But they learn to evolve and expand their mind and see. So the message coming through intuitively today is whatever you're doing, whomever you're around, whatever, you know, you are spending your time 
with today, with people, situations. See it from a higher point of view and trust your gut. Trust the way you feel because you're going to know if someone is genuinely interested in, in what you're doing and that, you know, they want to know about it or they don't. So give your energy freely, but also wisely. Don't get drained by people today. And that can be even our closest relatives or our closest friends can drain our energy because we're trying to defend ourselves. We're trying to explain the journey. We're trying to explain why we do the things we do. And it's taking energy. All we have to do is be an example of love and an example of light. And people notice that. And people right now are noticing that you've changed, that you're different, that your vibration shifted. And that's what they feel. That's why they're curious. Sometimes that curious can come across in a positive way. Sometimes that curiosity can come across in a negative way. So shield yourself today. And remember, it's okay to do you and be you and by yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of us on this journey are single for a long time until we come into union. Why? Because we're being saved for the best. The best is yet to come. Remember the message we've had over the last few days where, you know, God's been coming through Jesus and, you know, the angel saying, I love you so much. Your journey is on time. It's in divine timing. There's nothing to fear. So the message today is I spend lots of time thinking delightful thoughts. I truly love myself. So as long as you love yourself, that's all that matters. When we love ourselves from a place of power, and we're giving to ourselves all the things we're craving from others. And we're fulfilling ourselves. We're feeling whole. We're feeling satisfied. And other people around us want a piece of that, including our twin. So they see you operating in light and love and excitement and blessings and power. And they think, wow, I want to be that way too. So don't fear being single or spending time on your own or doing things on your own because it's liberating. And as a divine feminine, we lead the way. We lead by example. That's why we can do things by ourselves. Go out for lunch, go to the cinema, go on a plane, go on holiday by ourselves. We can do these things because we have strength and we know that we are not alone. We know we carry our twin flame inside of us and they spend the day with us wherever we go. We know we carry around previous people like mums, dads, people we've loved and cared about. I carry my mum with me in here every single day. And we know that we are one with all things, which means we are protected and safe. We know we are surrounded by love from the heavenly realms because we have that amazing bond with our creator. So we know there's nothing to fear. So we know if we go somewhere new or do something new, the angels are there too. And we get shown signs that we are protected. Signs that we are loved. People come towards us and help us and guide us because there's always helpful people along the way. So whatever you're doing today, whether you're spending time by yourself or with others, spend time thinking delightful thoughts, loving yourself, giving to yourself, not needing to defend yourself for who you are or what you do. So I feel you may see beautiful horses today in fields or, you know, even in your virtual world, but these horses are nourishing themselves. You know, this horse today is eating the grass in this picture. So the horse is nourishing themselves to gain the strength to carry on. And we have to nourish ourselves with the food we eat and the things we, you know, take into our physical body, but also the environment we are in and the energy we allow ourselves to feel. And that can be, you know, when we're operating in a higher vibration, we want to be around higher vibrational energy positivity, power. We don't want to be dragged into gossip or drama. So feed yourself and nourish yourself today with the things that you feel good about. And if you need to shield yourself, say no to others to say yes to you, then do what feels good. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.